Russian President Vladimir Putin has said he would rather a Joe Biden presidency over Donald Trump ahead of the U.S. election this November. Mr. Biden was the more experienced, predictable person, he said in remarks sure to raise eyebrows. Before Ms. Trump's first run for president in 2016, Mr. Putin had praised him as outstanding and talented. Mr. Biden has been a fierce critic of Mr. Putin for years, calling him a killer before the invasion of Ukraine. The Russian president also remarked on his recent interview with U.S. journalist Tucker Carlson, saying he had found it disappointing because the questions had not been sharp enough. Putin says a Biden presidency is better for Russia than a Trump one. A Joe Biden presidency would be better for Russia than a Donald Trump one, Russian President Vladimir Putin told pro-Kremlin journalist Pavel Zarubin in an on-camera interview Wednesday. Asked by Zarubin about the upcoming U.S. presidential election, Putin said Biden would be better for Russia because he is a more experienced person, he is predictable, he is a politician of an old formation. However, he added that Russia would work with any leader of the U.S. that gains the trust of the American people. Putin also said that in order to judge the actions of the current administration, one should look at its political position. I believe that the position of the current administration is extremely harmful and erroneous, Putin said in a reference to Russia's war in Ukraine. According to Putin, that war could have been over a year and a half ago if agreements during a meeting in Istanbul in March 2022 were kept. Putin didn't specify what agreements he was referring to. Putin says he prefers Joe Biden over Donald Trump in U.S. election. Vladimir Putin has said Joe Biden would be a better U.S. president for Russia than Donald Trump and dismissed concerns over his counterpart's age and equity for the role. Putin's comments late on Wednesday marked his first foray into this year's presidential election as tensions between Democrats and Republicans rise over the White House's efforts to send more military aid to Ukraine. Asked in a state television interview to choose between Biden and Trump, Putin said the U.S. leader was more experienced, predictable, an old-school politician, adding that Russia would work with any U.S. leader who wins the trust of the American people. The Russian president's comments came a day after Biden accused Trump of having bowed down to a Russian dictator as he urged Republicans in Congress to defy Trump and back more funding for Ukraine. Trump's presidency from 2017 to 2021 was dogged with accusations that he was too sympathetic to Putin. U.S. intelligence assessed that Russia had interfered in the 2016 White House race to help Trump to defeat Hillary Clinton. Putin suggested on Wednesday that concerns over Biden's age and mental accuracy were part of the U.S. election campaign getting more and more vicious, and said he had seen no evidence his counterpart was not fit for office at their last meeting in Geneva in 2021. Putin recalled, they were already saying Biden wasn't competent, but I saw nothing of the sort. Yes, he looked at his notes, and to be honest, I looked at mine. No big deal. So he banged his head on the helicopter when he was getting out of it. Who of us hasn't banged their head on something? Despite his guarded backing of Biden, Putin said American policy on Russia was harmful and mistaken, and suggested Trump was right to cast aspersions on the future of NATO. The U.S. has provided crucial military and financial aid to Ukraine since Putin ordered the full-scale invasion of the country two years ago but is struggling to secure congressional support for a new dollar 60 round of funding amid a wave of Republican hostility led by Trump. The former U.S. president, who is all but certain to challenge Biden as the Republican nominee in November, said last week he would encourage Russia to do whatever the hell they want to NATO countries that did not meet defense spending targets. There is probably some logic in his point of view to conditioning U.S. support for NATO allies on meeting the alliance's target, Currently at 2% of gross domestic product, Putin said. There is no logic from the Europeans' point of view. They want the US to keep carrying out some functions for free, as they have done since NATO was founded. If the US think they don't need NATO anymore, then that's their decision, Putin added, saying that Trump had his own views on how US relations with the Allies should develop. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel Trend Gossip News. Thank you for watching.